better daily. When we work hard in our minds, bodies, and our spirits to become 1% better every single day, download the app and join our Betterment family at betterdaily.live to catch the video version of these podcasts. Here's your host and my dad, Alex Van Houten. What is up, Betterment family? This is Alex Van Houten in Better Daily Live. Happy Tuesday. It is Nutrition Tip Tuesday, and today we're talking about berberine, which is a very powerful supplement that might be helpful in helping you knock off a few pounds of fat and get your blood sugar regulation under control. I'm really excited to talk to you about that today. Now, before I get there, I have to say two things. First, nothing I have to say today is about diagnosing or treating medical issues. I am not your doctor. So if you think the berberine is right for you, and if you're concerned about potential interactions it might have with drugs you're currently taking, you need to consult your doctor and your pharmacist. That also said, in general, those of you who know me and have heard me talk about supplements in the past know that I am what I call a supplement minimalist. I am very, very, very slow to recommend supplements to my clients those who listen to the Better Daily Shortcast, to those who are part of our Betterment community. I don't like the idea of people having big, large baskets full of supplements that they have to buy monthly in order to, you know, exist for one reason or another. I have my reasons for that. But that said, in practice, oftentimes I'll work with somebody for about four to five weeks before I'll say, look, here's what we're doing from a nutrition perspective. I want to talk to you about one or two supplements that might be helpful for you, given your goals and where you are in your journey. And berberine is is one of those supplements. It's one of those that I'm not very quick to recommend. It's one of those that I think can be extremely powerful and helpful, not just because I think so, because the research says so and I have... Uh, regular experience with clients that I've worked with who found very positive and powerful benefits from berberine on a regular basis, but also because when it comes to using supplements in order to see a desired effect, I want you, one, to be able to use your dietary intake, that is your daily nutrition practices, to optimize your health and fitness and moving forward on your 1% better journey. I don't like the idea that people can still eat like garbage and then hope that taking XYZ supplement is going to fix the fact that you eat like garbage. That's bad. We don't want to eat like garbage. We want to optimize our default. We want to feed our body good things that are going to help it to build itself well in the coming years. And so that's extremely important. And I don't like the psychology of people walking into like a vitamin shop or a muscle fitness or GNC or wherever you get your supplements and being like, hmm, you know, I've not been sleeping well lately. And, you know, I could lose some weight. So let's see if I can find a good supplement for that. And if I'm in that aisle and somebody says, hey, you got anything for sleep and and weight loss? I'm going to say, how many food journals have you kept in the past four weeks? Like, do you know what you're eating on a regular basis? Just curious. Before we try to solve your sleep and weight loss problems with a supplement, let's see if there's something you can be doing better from a nutrition and exercise perspective. But, you know, hey, that's just me, right? What do I know? I'm just a health coach and personal trainer of 16 years. So when I talk about berberine today, I want you to know that while it can help with blood sugar regulation issues, it can kickstart your weight loss, it can improve inflammatory markers, and can even improve things like LDL and HDL cholesterol numbers. Those studied benefits that we're going to talk about today are not meant to improve these markers if you're also still eating like garbage. Please stop eating like garbage. Eating well is the foundation for providing quality nutrients to the body that your body can use to build a better version of you over time. And this berberine supplement might be your 1% better now that you have found a good default. So let's talk about berberine. Let's talk about what it is, what it does, how it works, how you take it. And I have a link in the comments here or in the show notes, depending on whether you're here in our Better Daily community, or if you're one of those people who are listening to our shortcast like eight weeks later after it's made, you should probably join us in the Better Daily community so you can stay up to date on what we're doing in here and join the conversation. But either way, the link to the 
supplement that I recommend is below. And uh, so let's talk about it. So berberine is a, a interesting compound that can be pulled out of several different types of plants, but the primary source that we get uh, in the in the pharmaceutical supplement industry is the Barbary bush. Berberine has been used in, in Eastern medicine practices for a long time for a number of reasons, and we're just now, from a research perspective, getting to understand a bunch of different pathways it works on and some of the effects of berberine. So berberine primarily acts on a enzyme that some scientists call the master switch of your metabolism. It's called AMP kinase, AMP protein kinase. And AMP protein kinase, mm, it has, a, well, they call it a master switch for a reason. It has a lot of jobs. But one of the jobs is to tell the body how much sugar should be in the bloodstream, okay? That's a really, really important job. How much sugar should be in the bloodstream? If that's wrong, if the amount of sugar in the bloodstream is way too high, either because from a dietary perspective, you're really good at digesting it, or maybe from a uh, organ perspective, you're bad at producing insulin in your pancreas and releasing it, or maybe from a fat cell perspective, your body's not really responsive to insulin. Whatever the reason that blood sugar is high, that's not good because blood sugar in the, the system in exorbitant amounts actually causes damage to your body, crushes arteries and capillaries and cells. You don't want that. You don't want too high on blood sugar, right? But on the opposite end of the spectrum, if your blood sugar is too low, you're going to be walking around dizzy and a little spacey and nauseous. And well, that's not good either because that's not how you want to exist on a regular basis. So AMP protein kinase has an extremely important job. And its job is a part of a large hormonal matrix that keeps your blood sugar in the happy place. And berberine directly affects AMP protein kinase. And because of the direct effect of berberine on AMP protein kinase, berberine can actually help your metabolism rely on fat as a fuel source more than carbohydrates. And it can actually counteract some of the problems of insulin resistance and help you become more insulin sensitive. It can also counteract some of the problems related to liver and blood sugar regulation. So here's what the studies show with berberine. The primary positive effect of taking berberine, and usually it's three times a day around your largest meals, right? The time when your blood sugar would spike the most around your largest meals, that's when you're, you're taking berberine. Uh, the therapeutic dosage of berberine is about one gram per serving. Generally, I recommend 500 milligrams. What am I trying to say? <laughs> per times you take berberine? <laughs> per, per frequency, 500 milligrams three times a day at your, your largest meals. Anyway, the largest studied effect is that there is a significant decrease in blood sugar when you take berberine. So let's say you, you eat your meal, right? And after eating your meal, what happens is your body starts to digest your food. And as your body digests your food, it breaks it down into its constituent parts. One of the first things that are broken down are carbohydrates that starts as you chew. There's an enzyme called amylase in your saliva that starts breaking down carbohydrates. And then that process continues at the level of the stomach. So berberine actually slows that process down, which is pretty cool. It means that it lowers the glycemic index of the foods that you eat and your blood sugar doesn't rise as fast after you eat. Like, oh, okay, cool. I've got lower blood sugar. Thanks, Alex. That's nice. No, no, you don't understand. When you slow down the rate at which sugar hits your bloodstream, you speed up the rate at which your body uses fat as a fuel source. I'm going to say that again. When you lower blood sugar, you increase fat metabolism. That's a big deal. That's a very big deal. And berberine works on that AMP protein kinase. It, it works on that at the foundational level. It's not a trick, right? So, so one of the ways you can lower the amount of carbohydrates that you get from the food that you eat is you can actually ingest insoluble fiber like wood, cellulose. Not joking. Check your fiber bars. <laughs> a lot of those, a lot of those food products that are like great source of fiber, fiber added. Look at the ingredients list. It says cellulose, C E L L U L O S E. That is literally wood shavings. 
that's like sawdust. So that's fun. Uh, that doesn't actually help your body at all, but it does. It does lower how quickly your body creates blood sugar from the food that you eat. So, hey, sweet, right? Berberine acts in a different way. Berberine actually acts on the hormones associated with ripping apart carbohydrates, pushing them into the bloodstream, and telling the body to hold on to them as fat. So berberine is pretty powerful on that front. And that's why when I've worked with clients who, let's say, specifically, they're wrestling with things like polycystic ovarian syndrome or endometriosis. These are two uh, female health conditions that can certainly affect estrogen, progesterone, and insulin. That relationship makes it really, really hard to drop fat, even if you're eating well, even if you're exercising well. It makes it really, really hard for the body to let go of its fat stores. So berberine can actually be a really helpful supplement to kickstart that. And it's not one of those things like after you're done taking it, the effects are over. It actually improves your insulin sensitivity over time. So that's another thing that the research finds. Not only does it lower blood sugar, but it improves insulin sensitivity. And so for this reason, berberine has actually been recommended by a number of doctors and holistic healthcare professionals to help people who are getting close to type 2 diabetes but don't want to be taking medications. Berberine is actually a really helpful stand-in. Well, not really a stand-in. I'm not allowed to say that. Mm, it's a helpful precursor or stepping stone before something like metformin, which is what people take when they have type 2 diabetes and need to lower their blood sugar before they cause damage like blindness or uh, end up with gangrene on their feet or something. So anyway, that said, uh, berberine is a really, really powerful supplement for lowering blood sugar. Another thing that it seems to lower is cholesterol. So um, some individuals have a hard time clearing lipids from their bloodstream. This could be this could be genetic. So I have the gene that shows I will generally have higher LDL than the average population. Increases my probability of higher LDLs. And I love eggs. I think eggs are, are wonderful for me. My body does better with them. It's not just like, I love the taste of eggs. My tendons, my ligaments, my stomach, as far as a protein source goes, eggs are great, right? But they're also really high in cholesterol. And so I tend to run... I tend to run hot, not high, but hot. I, I'm right on the line, and the doctor's always like, "Whoop, well, better watch that LDL." And I'm like, "I'm, I'm just doing great, fantastic." But berberine seems to help clear lipids from the bloodstream as well, and it would make sense if berberine lowers blood sugar and makes it easier to metabolize fat as a fuel source. Then that would mean your body would have to pull those triglycerides, pull those lipids straight out of the bloodstream to use them. That would make sense why those drop, but it's cool. It also raises HDL, which is the cardioprotective lipoprotein, the high density lipoprotein that's cardioprotective, meaning if, if I have higher HDL and lower LDL, I have a lower risk of cardiovascular disease and berberine has been studied to help that in double placebo controlled trials as well. So that's really cool. And, and uh, two other things, and then I'll shut up because I know this is a short cast and I can talk about this for a while, but uh, two other things that berberine does well for individuals is one, it seems to lower markers of inflammation. So the individuals that I just talked about, uh, young women, especially of childbearing age who are wrestling with polycystic ovarian syndrome, endometriosis, uh, general hormonal dysfunction around progesterone, estrogen, and, and insulin, they also tend to hold on to a lot of extra water, like a lot of water weight. They're kind of raw on the inside. It's really easy for them to be inflamed. And berberine seems to tone that down some. So I've had clients who start taking berberine and immediately lose a few pounds. And they're like, wow, this stuff's great. Why? And I'm like, hey, hey whoa, whoa, like, it is great. But what we just did is dumped a bunch of water weight, okay? Don't start touting that you found the new fat-burning uh, magic pill because that's not what's going on. We've just lowered inflammatory markers, which is good. It's very good. You don't need to be holding on to all that water. But just understand how it's working. What's up, KT? Good to see you today. Thanks for joining us for a quick talk on berberine. So lowered blood sugar, increased fat burn, lowered LDL, and increased HDL. So lowered bad cholesterol, quote-unquote, high HDL cholesterol, quote-unquote. Um, and then the last but not least is it does seem to have an effect on our microbiome. Now, we're not really sure about the mechanism here, but it seems to shift the microbiome more toward a slower digestive rate for food rather than a faster digestive rate, meaning that the food that we break down happens more completely but more slowly over time, which actually is better 
when we're talking about things like body composition. Remember I told you the faster blood sugar hits the system, the harder it is on your body. So we want that process to happen nice and slow. And so berberine changing the microbiome to being efficient but less intense is really helpful. So again, we're not really sure how that plays out, but it happens and that's pretty cool. Too. You guys have probably heard me talk about the microbiome and how it affects our digestive tract and body composition and even our, our levels of serotonin, which is associated with depression. So anyway, that said, berberine, good stuff. I don't recommend you know, overly much taking supplements all the time as opposed to fixing your dietary practice. But if you're somebody who is wrestling with slightly higher cholesterol than you think you should have, uh, given how well you're eating, if you're somebody who's having trouble with a couple pounds of fat that's just like, like, really? Like, I'm exercising, I'm eating well, like, where is this coming from? Uh, it might help to lower that blood sugar and increase your fat metabolism. And then last but not least, if you're somebody who's holding on to some extra water, this is primarily true of female clients that I've worked with, both of childbearing age and postmenopause, that inflammatory markers can be high sometimes. Uh, this might be a helpful thing to do a course of that. So, uh, Janet asked, where do we get this? I'm going to drop the link in the comments in the live video here, Janet, and then also in the show notes for those catching the short cast. For the one that I recommend, I recommend Thorn Research's Berberine 500 because the capsules come in 500 milligram dosages, which makes it really easy to do one every meal. And Thorn Research is a, a really high quality supplement company. So I know what they say is in there is in there because of GMP stamping and third party testing. So um, I'll drop the link to the one that I recommend my clients here. I recommend taking one with each meal and I recommend doing one course of it and check your weight, have a, have a good body fat measure and, and see if it worked well for you. See if it helped you drop a couple extra pounds of water. See if it helped you lose some percent body fat. And if it did, you don't have to do this forever. You don't have to do this forever. If you improve your insulin sensitivity and you improve your fat burn and your metabolic rate regarding triglyceride metabolism, then you get to reap the benefits of having a better body composition all the time. And having a course of berberine every once in a while, let's say, I don't know, around the holidays when you have a large intake of way more food than you're used to, <laughs> then that wouldn't be a bad thing to do either. So I'll drop the link, Janet. Thank you for asking. And uh, if anybody has any questions, please drop them. I'd be very, very happy to follow up on those. Guys, thank you so much for joining me here in Better Daily Live for a Nutrition Tip Tuesday. I'm very excited about tomorrow, which is Wednesday, and I'm hoping to get an awesome conversation with one of our community here for you. Until then, it's just 1%. You got this. Thank you for joining us for your 1% Better today. Don't forget to subscribe for the podcast. Leave us a raving review to tell others how Better Daily has helped you in your journey. If you want more Better Daily, download our app and join our Betterment family at betterdaily.live. Use code POD to get 25% off your subscription. That's P-O-D, all caps, to save 25% on your subscription. We all have a cross to carry. It's later when we do it together. Go to betterdaily.live today.